All right, soy has been a hot topic of conversation. Big especially time. Especially in your world. Yes, big time. We get asked all the time, is it good, is it bad, what do we do about it? And in what form does it come in? <laughs> <laughs> Millions of different forms, it's okay. crazy. I mean, you got everything from tofurkey to tofu to uh, patties to soybeans themselves, miso, tempeh, I mean, you name it, soy milk. We've got everything that's made out of soy. And a lot of people don't realize how much soy they actually consume on a day-to-day -day basis because soy lecithin is actually a stabilizer in most processed foods. Hmm. So we actually consume it even if you're not a tofu fan. Um, and there are some benefits to it. It does have plant sterols in it, which helps lower risks of cholesterol. The problem with it and why it's so controversial is that if you have breast cancer that is fueled by estrogens, these plant estrogens that are part of soy can augment the chances of increasing the tumor size. So you have to be kind of careful and it's best to talk to one of your healthcare professionals about whether or not soy should be in your diet if you're in that situation. Uh, when we deal with soy here at the clinic, we try and go with the most basic form of it. Uh, anything that looks like what it was when it came out of nature, we tend to stick to that's the right source. So these are edamame beans. Um, and most people have never seen them before. They usually come frozen in little packets, mm -hmm. and you boil them and put a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt, and they're a fantastic you little snack. Just suck, and you just, just suck, suck them, them right out. out. Or you can make the beans themselves into kind of like a hummus dip. And the other one we've got here is miso, and this is a fermented soy product, and it's a lot less refined. Great for making broths and soups with. 